possibly realize uh, I'm putting this announcement through uh, all our guest areas and uh, there's a uh, very good reason for that as uh, this is a particularly important announcement this noontime. As you are well aware, Port Canaveral, our next port, will be our first port of entry into the United States of America. As you are probably also well aware, uh, that will involve a full immigration inspection and clearance with the United States Immigration Department. That will be in the form of all guests, and I mean each and every one of you, proceeding ashore into the passenger terminal and uh, clearing immigration there. It does require each and every guest to go ashore and uh, no guests will be permitted to continue ashore on tour or independently by the immigration department until the last guest has cleared through immigration and indeed no guests will be allowed back on the ship either. Now to that end we have planned very carefully and organised a procedure which will make this process run as smoothly as it possibly can. And again to that end, a letter will be delivered to each and every stateroom this evening outlining lining our plans. I'd ask you to read that letter very carefully and things will flow very smoothly. However, we have some very good news which will help the entire situation and we've been working behind the scenes all the way across the Atlantic with the between the ship, the home office back in Southampton and our agents and the port in Port Canaveral. And uh, to that end, the good news is that we'll be able to arrive the day before on Wednesday the 20th as we've made good speed despite the windy conditions that we have experienced. I do think that the winds we have at the moment, by the way, should be the last of the really strong winds. The weather maps look like once we clear this windy area later today, it should be a smoother run in to Florida. So at present, our intention is to actually be alongside our berth in Port Canaveral by 1100, that's 11 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday the 20th. This has taken a lot of work and organisation to arrive in the day before to secure the berth for our early arrival, but we'll have many benefits and uh, we will anticipate uh, clearing all guests through immigration on Wednesday the 20th, uh, starting from around 11 o'clock in the morning. This will have great benefits, including, of course, it means that you will undoubtedly have a comfortable night uh, alongside our berth on the night of the 20th but uh, the excellent news is then that uh, you will have the full day on the 21st of January the scheduled day in port to enjoy your tours or your exploration ashore independently whatever your plans are as immigration will have been completed the day before fantastic news I'm sure you'll agree and uh, I will update you on a more firmer arrival time, of course, tomorrow at noon, as we'll still be at sea, and we'll have a much better idea of how we are doing at that time. But in the meantime, I wish you a very pleasant afternoon once again on board Queen Victoria. Hope you are pleased with that uh, good piece of news, and very shortly the third navigating officer will continue with his normal noontime information.